Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a royal order promoting 707 officers of the Bahraini Defense Force, the BDF, from various military ranks. The issuance of the royal order is on the occasion of the BDF's 53rd anniversary, marked every February 5th. On the occasion, the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, conveyed the congratulations of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the promoted officers as well as their wishes to them of further success in serving the nation under the leadership of His Majesty the King. On the occasion, the BDF Commander-in-Chief also issued an order promoting 4,577 military and civil servicemen from various ranks. The Commander-in-Chief congratulated the promoted officers, servicemen and civilians, wishing, them the, wishing that the promotions will motivate them to exert more efforts while performing their patriotic duties in defending the nation and achieving more progress for the BDF and the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, Azhana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the support Bahraini sports receives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa has contributed in making a number of achievements that affirm the status of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pleasure that Bahrain Brave Mixed Martial Arts MMA has ranked first globally, which is a highly Level international achievement. His Highness noted that this ranking reflects the distinguished status of the kingdom in hosting major international championships, underscoring that Bahrain is the capital of youth and sports. He also highlighted Bahrain's support to such major sporting events. His Highness praised the role of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in developing this sport, making it one of the most prominent events hosted in the Kingdom. He emphasized the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid to have played a direct role in promoting Brave Bahrain as the first ranking MMA event in the world. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that many goals have been achieved from signing the agreement between the Federation and Zayed Higher Organization for People of Determination in the UAE through the training program launched by the Federation that aims to create remarkable humanitarian work and rehabilitate children and autism. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that the constructive cooperation with Zayed Higher Organization stems from a joint sense of responsibility towards people with autism, which embodies the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Hayyan. His Highness expressed satisfaction with the progress of the program according to the vision set by the Federation through allocating days to train and rehabilitate children with autism, which asserts brief efforts led by the President of Brief, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and its keenness on providing full support to the program managers. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah expressed appreciation for the unlimited support from His Highness Sheikh Nasser to rehabilitate children with autism, adding that this support and follow-up contributes to making further efforts to achieve more goals. He stated that the turnout for the program proves that the goals of signing the agreement have been achieved. The chairman of the High Committee of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club REHC, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired a meeting of the REHC at Rafa in Sakhir. His Highness Sheikh Isa expressed appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his appointment as chairman of the REHC High Committee, stressing his aspirations to achieve the desired goals for which the club was founded, reflecting the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King. 
His Highness Sheikh Isa affirmed that the unwavering support provided by His Majesty the King to the Kingdom's equestrian offering has led Bahrain to hold a prominent position in this regard. His Highness highlighted the support provided to horse racing by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his contributions to the advancement of the sport, the multiplicity of its activities and its preservation for future generations. His Highness Sheikh Isa welcomed the Royal Directives appointing His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa as Honorary President of the REHC, noting His Highness Sheikh Abdullah's efforts and contributions to equestrianism, especially his achievements in support of increasing Bahraini youth participation in the sport. Furthermore, His Highness Sheikh Isa congratulated the REHC High Committee members on their appointments, wishing them success in fulfilling the committee's goals and serving the kingdom's equestrian sports sector. His Highness emphasized the importance of further strengthening the REHC High Committee's plans and initiatives, as well as redoubling efforts to achieve all strategic goals. Topics on the agenda of the REHC High Committee were discussed and the following decisions were made. Enhancing cooperation with Gulf-based and international horse racing clubs, expanding the club's activities, facilitating and attracting foreign participation in local races, developing local investments for the REHC and the administrative management of the horse breed registry. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam Khalaf, conducted an inspection visit to the Air Traffic Control Center building project. The Minister was accompanied by the Under Secretary of the Works Ministry, Engineer Ahmed Al Khayyad, and the Assistant Under Secretary for Construction and Maintenance Projects, Engineer Sheikh Mishal Al Khalifa. The trip was made in preparation for the commencement with the operations of the new passengers terminal at Bahrain International Airport. The Ministry has concluded all construction works of the building. According to the highest quality standards and operational tests of the building's electrotechnical systems and devices are currently being carried out. The implementation of this project comes within the framework of the continuous interest in the various services projects that the Ministry of Works designs and supervises for the benefit of the various authorities and ministries in the Kingdom. Upon the directives of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport and chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committees, Hana Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the third edition of the African Intelligence Competition organized by Bahrain Polytechnic in cooperation with Microsoft will commence next month. The competition tests the participants' abilities to create innovation projects using one of Microsoft's cloud computing services. A number of winners of the previous two editions affirmed that this competition will unleash the creativity of the Bahraini youth in the field of artificial intelligence. The competition is open to both university and high school students from Bahrain and the Gulf, provided that they do not exceed 25 years old. Registration is still open for the third edition until the 5th of February. Students wishing to participate in the competition can register by visiting the website hackfest.polytechnic.ph. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announces that the total number of individuals who have taken the vaccine has reached 174,075. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination.
The Kingdom of Bahrain's endeavors to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 and reduce its impact are moving ahead and they should be supported by the community through applying a greater commitment to the rules in the national fight against the virus. For more on this matter, we are joined on the phone by the Chief of Medical Services Internal Medicine Department, Consultant of Infectious Diseases at Salmania Medical Complex and member of the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19, Dr. Jamila. Salman. Dr. Jamila, it's good to have you here with us. Uh, considering the recent increase in COVID-19 active cases, what is your advice to citizens? Uh, thanks a lot for having me. Uh, really, with the um, in recent increase in the COVID-19 cases in the Kingdom of Bahrain, we really urge everybody to follow all the precautionary and preventive measures that we, uh, since the beginning of the pandemic, we were addressing it. Talking exactly about continue, continuing uh, washing of hands, uh, wearing the mask and wearing them properly, practice social distancing recommendation everywhere, and to apply and take the vaccination. At the same time, we urge everybody to stay home, please, unless it's necessary, absolutely necessary, actually, to go out. Try to avoid all kind of gathering, whether it's public or private, and anything that will extend beyond the immediate circle and the social circle around each of us. Uh, it's very important to notice that even if you have somebody in your surrounding and in your place, elderly or you know um, uh, uh, people with a compromised immune system, to be very careful around them and really take the same precaution and limit the in-person interaction. So applying all these precautionary measures will help and limiting the increase in the number of new cases, and that will help us to go over and pass this stage. Mm -hmm. Dr. Jamila, during the National Medical Task Force press conference, a COVID-19 variant in a number of active cases was announced. What are the precautionary measures that must be observed in this regard? Yeah, I'm sure that everybody, uh, everybody is hearing about the new variants, which is probably now spreading in a lot of countries around the world. So through the continuous monitoring of COVID-19 cases in Bahrain, we discovered some of, the, uh, of these cases. Um, the precautionary measure that has to be applied for the new variant is the same as the old variant. It's the same virus, COVID-19, and the mode of transmission is basically the same. So we urge everybody to follow the same that we announced since the beginning and take all these recommendations from the, um, the health authorities. Very important to uh, really to mention and take in consideration by everybody is that uh, the national vaccination campaign is ongoing and coordination is underway with the vaccination uh, manufacturer to ensure a swift provision of vaccine according to the manufacturing and distribution plan mm -hmm. so we receive more vaccine to be available for everybody. Mm -hmm. So we ask for everyone while they are waiting and they register for the vaccine mm -hmm. is to uh, uh, take in consideration all these precautionary measures. And which is equally very important, even if after taking the vaccine and even after taking the two doses, please continue applying this measure. Because as we repeatedly say that we need maximum, the largest number in any community to be vaccinated, have immunity, so we can stop the cycle and the transmission of the virus in the community. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Jamila, for joining us. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,578 with 285 recoveries and 657 registered new cases. 330 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 321 are contacts of active cases and 6 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.